Hey guys, how you doing? We're going to do another walkthrough by Marine Max. Today, I'm going to be walking through a really, really cool boat. We're going through a 2023 Boston Whaler 325 Conquest. Now, biggest feature on this one, which is particular, you don't see a ton of them, um, but when they do come out, they're really, really cool boats. This one has a full three-sided enclosure. You do have numerous vents up front, um, but what that does, especially up here in the New England area, it gives you uh, a really extended boating season. So what it's gonna be able to do is it's AC and heated, climate controlled, and then you have a partition that you can put back here, a removable partition, it'll be part canvas, part strata glass, um, you know, so you don't have that full pilot house feel, but you can still get the climate control that you like from there. Starting from the back, you have two white 300 Mercury Verado engines, V8, lot of great mid-range torque there so when you're cruising you know 25 30 you need to get around something and you want to quicken it up a bit you hammer it down good good mid-range torque there yeah uh, big lot bait blue liner inside aerating as well as uh, recirculating there so you always have fresh water and your bait is staying happy and swimming around there uh, on and off the boat <clears throat> as you can see uh, we've docked it up today and we have away from the docks just based on how the river is going but you still have 10 inches across here good swim platforms near the corner um, so that you can walk on and off the boat and that's not the end of the world um, your swim ladder is going to be down on this side that is your first swim ladder I want to say it's your primary but because you have the ladder that you can put over the side. I really like just because it's a safety thing, you know, especially if you have kids, people jumping off the boat and you're doing a lot of swimming, you take that, put it off the side, and this is kind of your focal point away from the engines. A little bit safer for the kids. It's still going to keep an eye on them, but a little bit less than you might think. Um, <clears throat> your shore power cables are going to be right on the inside here, um, and then you have the hookups for your fresh water back here and then your 30 amps back here as well. Um, start fresh water wash down and then this is a really cool feature. Everybody's jumping on the boat we all kind of that's kind of our first priority is keep everybody away from the boat when the engines are on. If somebody from the dock um, goes to jump in or goes to this you know as a safety feature you can tell everybody hey when these little LEDs are on they'll illuminate yellow kind of oranges but when the props are spinning those are actually dialing around so it, um, it goes you know clockwise counterclockwise but that lets everybody else know the props are spinning the engines are on and everything's moving all right so it's nice uniform and clean you can see how we got it set up on this side um, and then as we move towards the front of the cab, the front of the, the midship of the boat, I should say, rather, um, you have your sunshade that's going to come back from here. Big sunshade going to come all the way to the transom here. Rod holders up and down, as well as a ladder to the hard top. You have a lot of people that will put a roof rack style rack on top of there. You can put surfboards there, you can put chairs there, um, but that allows you all access to get up on top of there. This set up right here so first thing you'll notice here is this big sliding drawer here top half series grill there all right so Kenyan series there you have all you know little storage there if you want to keep uh, some hardware whether it's brushes tools spatulas anything like that on the side nice and easy pops back up and it's locked so you'll never worry about anything there removable if you want to you know put bigger things or smaller things in there is all welcome to do that as you go up the side nice big ample space here to walk up and down cleats throughout that really big nice open window there on the side of that boat big fan of the little things this is where you tie your fenders to so if you have a fender here midship 
and tie it to here so it doesn't take up some of your room on the cleat there. Deck and the cockpit area of the boat, we're gonna move up towards the midship and I'm gonna to start to show you some of the inside stuff of this Boston Whaler. Kind of under the, the hard top here inside the cap. Uh, a couple different seating arrangements you can set up here. So right now, everything's kind of facing the bow of the boat, assuming you're running, assuming you're moving. Um, when you start to get a little bit more entertainment friendly, that's nice and easy, and it switches and turns into an aft-facing lounger, right? Say it's lunchtime, everybody wants to start having cold cuts and everything, you want to take your table out, you take this bench, flip it back this way, and then, this table actually comes up. And your table folds out. So you can have a nice uh, display of cold cuts. You want to put your drinks out here. You know, somebody's setting up tackle and rigging gear on your way to the fishing spots. Everything's right there. Over here, you have twin Simrad screens. Mercury vessel view your trim tabs, and your spotlight control. As we move to the bottom side of the hard top here, you have two vents. This is your air conditioning through the Dometic air conditioning con system. Simrad VHF is mounted up top and out of the way, and two awesome vents for when you're hanging out to get some breeze in here. You do have the new digital throttle and shift with Mercury here, as well as the joystick controls. Uh, the digital throttle and, and shift, we're going to do another whole video about that, but that's awesome. Uh, you have single lever, you have skyhook, you have autopilot, you know, one touch will turn on both engines, and you go right from there. From here, we're going to move down into the cabin. I'll meet you down there and let's take a look. There's in the cabin of this 325 Conquest. You notice big, spacious layout down here. I'm a bigger guy. So, this table is a high-low table, all right? If you do want to lower it down, these cushions actually pull in, and these backrests will fill the spacing from that uh, moving cushion. And it does create a V-berth up front here. You do have all illumination up top. They just click right on and off there. And then you have rod holders tucked away here. So, you know, if you don't use them for storage, they're not bumping into your way and everything like that. Uh, you do have a Jensen TV. Storage to starboard as well as uh, these three here are going to be your main breaker panels. Microwave, single burner cooktop, uh, your sink, storage, and then a standing closet down there. There is an aft bed back in the back, just smaller than a queen size bed, so essentially you could sleep four down here, um, you know, with AC or you have the portholes and the skylights up top. You also are going to have a wet head to starboard here, sink, Full toilet with a vacuum flush system. Um, everything's good to go down there. Great, great weekender boat, you know, for the avid fisherman that wants to bring a little bit of family aspect into this. Um, great, great boat combined with the AC, the enclosable cockpit up stop, upstairs. Um, good, good all around fishing. This is about right. Three Boston Whaler 325 Conquest. If you have any questions about this one or any of the boats we have in stock, Give us a call over at Marie Max Danvers. We'd be more than happy to show you the rest of the boats and this one. See you next time.